In this video, we will have a look at the Microsoft MB920 certification and our new course on this certification. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Microsoft's MB920 certification is all about Dynamics 365 fundamentals for ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning. Basically, the MB910 is all about CRM, Customer Relationship Management, and is customer facing. The ERP MB920 is about the back office, principally finance and supply chain management. So if we scroll down on this MB920 page, you can see that you aspire to understand how finance and supply chain management can be used to support the core financial model of an organization, support the business operations, including warehousing and manufacturing, Unify different business processes into one software solution because this certification does briefly look at commerce, human resources, and project operations. Manage multiple legal entities in the one business application and integrate with other applications, principally, for example, Microsoft Excel, but there's also a bit of Teams, SharePoint, and Word. So if I scroll down, you can see that the requirements for this exam are Describe Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management Describe Dynamics 365 Finance and Describe the core capabilities of the finance and operations apps more generally. So if I go to the study guide, we can see how this is broken down. So first of all, we have got Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management at around just over a third of the marks. So you'd be looking at supply chain management core capabilities, the manufacturing process, including manufacturing strategies, such as made to stock, made to order, configure to order, engineer to order, lean, discrete and process manufacturing, and more. Describe inventory and warehousing capabilities, and describe the sales and procurement processes. So basically, you need to know what is possible within supply chain management. If we go down, we've also then got Dynamics 365 Finance at around a third of the number of marks. So describe finance core capabilities, general ledgers, including the charts of accounts and financial dimensions, accounts payable and accounts receivable, expense management, fixed asset management, and budgeting. And then finally, Describe the core capabilities of the finance and operation apps, including the business value of commerce, human resources, and project operations. Now, around two years ago, there was a much stronger focus on each of these with more detailed questioning, but now it's just described the business value. So it's a really high level look at each of these. Describe reporting and integration capabilities, including Microsoft Excel, SharePoint, Teams and a bit of Power BI and the wider Power Platform. And then finally, describe common features, security, workflow, and the concept of batch jobs. So if this sounds like it might be of interest to you, how can you learn it? Well, you do have the Microsoft Study Guide, so we can see that above. The problem I have with this is it rather takes each element in isolation and not necessarily at the right level. So if we have a look at the fundamentals of Dynamics 365 supply chain management. So if I look at this middle one and then scroll down for the purchase order creation process, we can't really see from the screenshots the wider view. Yes, I can see roughly how you get to this page, but how does that actually look in conjunction with other pages? What are the buttons that are here which you can't see in the screenshot, which I can press. And then how does this interact with that? And, and then going further down, how does all of this interact with what we've just seen? It's very difficult to have a more organized view from these pages. Additionally, a lot of this is at the wrong level. It goes into too much detail about things that you won't be asked for in this fundamental level exam. So this is why we've created our new video course. In around five hours, 
we'll go through all of the requirements that we saw in the study guide for the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Fundamentals exam. No prior knowledge of Dynamics 365 is required, and you will be shown how to access a free trial of the apps. However, it's not as easy to get a free trial of that than it is to get a free trial of the Dynamics 365 CRM apps, and you don't need it in order to pass this exam. How do we learn all of the requirements? Well, here are all of the requirements in a numbered format. And it starts off with Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, but I don't think that that is the right place to start. Instead, we'll have a look more broadly. We'll describe Enterprise Resource Management. We'll have a look at the use cases and the user interface once we get the free trial. And then we'll have a look at Finance, because for you to have a good understanding of Supply Chain Management, I think you first need to have a good understanding of finance. So we generally do it in this order. We have a look at the cost accounting concepts first before then basically just going through this in order. After this, we then have a look at Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management and we have a look at the core capabilities, the manufacturing process, and then I go to describe the sales and procurement processes because some things in the final section are more dependent on the understanding of the sales and procurement process. So then we go back to inventory and warehousing capabilities. Finally, we'll have a look at the core capabilities of the finance and operation apps. We have a look at the business value of commerce, human resources and project operations before looking at the reporting and integration capabilities and describing common features. In around five hours, we'll have gone through all of these topics and you should have a better understanding of Dynamics 365 Finance, Supply Chain Management, and more. There's a practice test at the end of the course, and a dozen quizzes as you go through the course, so you can be sure that you are learning. For more information, please go to our website, idodata.com, and click on either Fundamentals or Power Platform and Dynamics 365, and have a look at our MB920 course. There's a link to it in the description. And if you go down to the click here to get started, that includes a voucher, so you can get it for a special price. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please click like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. If you're interested in the MB910 certification all about customer relationship management, then please click on the video on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.